welcome back to Clergy Bracketology. I'm one of your hosts, Rabbi Jeremy Fine. Here at Temple of Aaron, we are breaking down different categories, uh, brackets, because we know, like many of us, we miss, miss March Madness. Today, we're doing the eight greatest Jewish sports teams. None of these include teams from Israel. This doesn't include include Team Israel Baseball, but we went through and tried to find eight teams that have at least one Jewish person on the team or character. On this side of the bracket, uh, the first matchup, the one seed is the 2006 Red Sox, which had four Jewish players, Adam Stern, Kevin Euclid, Craig Breslow, and Gabe Kapler. We are partial to the Minnesota Wild last year with Luke Coonan and Jason Zucker. Uh, and in that, in that matchup, we're going to obviously take the Red Sox. The 06 Red Sox had uh, the only team ever to have uh, four Jewish players on the team. Several who went on to have a World Series ring, although not in 06. Uh, and then we have the 2010 Cornell Big Red. Uh, shout out to Andy Bernard. Uh, that team had Eitan Chemerinsky, it had John Jacquez, a great guy, and uh, Chris Wolbowski. Three Jewish players that made a sweet 16 run versus the 18 Patriots. Julian Edelman, Nate Ebner, and of course, owned by Bob Kraft. We're going to go with the Patriots here, holding suit. Um, they ended up also winning the Super Bowl, which was a huge deal. All right, the second side of the bracket, I'm going to hand over to my colleague. All right, and so now on this side, we have uh, powerhouses for baseball. In our one uh, seed, we have the 65 Dodgers, which of course had Sandy Koufax, arguably as one of the greatest Jewish athletes of all time, especially all, and definitely in baseball. <laughs> this year, he won the MVP. He had his one of his three uh, pitching triple crowns, won the World Series and the World Series MVP. And then here we have the 35 Tigers, which had Hank Greenberg, who also won an MVP that year and won the World Series. However, in a very close match, we have the 65 Dodgers taking this first matchup. And then we have down here the 04 Dolphins. So we have Jay Fiedler, we have Sage Rosenfels, Mark Tressman was one of the coaches, so we have three people involved there. And then the 46 Knickerbockers. This was the first year that actually that they were in the NBA. Uh, officially, and then Ozzy Shekman, who was one of their Jewish players, one of three actually, uh, made the first basket. And so while it's close, also for historical and for the fact that we had three on three, and this was just such a historical matchup, we're taking the 46 Knickerbockers. And now we have over here 65 Dodgers and the 46 Knickerbockers. As we mentioned, all the accolades of Sandy Koufax can just, we can't ignore that. However, that was just a one-man show in terms of this. And so now we have a slight upset, the two over the one. We have the 46 Knickerbockers. And then on this other side of the bracket, we have the 06 Red Sox and the 18 Patriots. As a Cardinals fan and a Rams fan, this matchup kills me. I would have rather had this been the final, but someone has to win. And so in actually looking at it, we see here that we have four of those players. I just think it was the only time for four players or people associated with the team to get uh, to be on the same baseball team. We take the 06 Red Sox. And now for the championship, I turn it over to my colleague. All right, so this is a really, really tough call. Uh, and we decided that because 1946 was a really, really long time ago, and we got to actually see the 06 uh, Red Sox, I think Rabbi Miller was alive then, right? Yes, he's yeah. confirming. Uh, we're going to choose the only time in history that four Jewish baseball players were on one one team, obviously anchored by Kevin Euclid there, Craig Breslow, uh, guys who really meant a lot to Jews and sports everywhere. That is no shame to the Final Four who are all amazingly Jewishly represented. We want to thank everyone. We hope there's a little bit of joy now added to your day and hope everyone is he healthy and safe. Yay!